As you all know, a voice for the voiceless, and I will always speak on behalf of the people and the poorer class of people, especially in Denmark. There has been some news circulating, yeah, for the past couple of months, yeah, but I didn't have no proof of what was the news about so i didn't want to talk about it while all the people will very will convince that certain things has been happening and it's very disturbing you know to some people which they don't like but um i want to read something from the bible concerning this matter and it's found in 2 Samuel chapter 11 and 12. But I'm going to read from chapter 12. And the Lord said, sent Nathan unto David. And he came unto him and said unto him, There was two men in one city, the, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceedingly many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing save one little lamb, which he had bought and nourished up, to. and it grew up together with him. And there came a traveler unto the rich man, and he sped to take his own flock of his own herd to dress for the way far foreign man that was come unto him. But took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come to him. And David was was great, greatly kindled against this man. And he said to Nathan, As the Lord liveth, the man that has done this thing shall surely die. And he, he said, He shall restore the lamb fourfold, because he, he did not this thing and because he had no pity. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus said the Lord of Israel, I anointed thee o over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul, and I gave thee master house, and thy master's wives, into thy bosom and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah and if that had been too little I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things um, I read these things I read these verses so we could get a better understanding of what I'm about to say. And uh, what I'm about to say, yeah, might be shocking to some people. But this is what has been happening. Yeah. And it's about Sean Edwards. Yeah, Sean Edwards. We the people... Yeah, majority of the people of Denrinov have voted for you to represent them and to take care of them. Yeah. 
represent them in the House of Parliament and represent them when they are in need of something to assist them, to help them, to protect them. You understand? But you have taken up to yourself your power your power yes and i'm saying it your power right by going around and sleeping with the guy's wife wives i should say wives because you have done it to more than one guy yes and the people of Denry North is talking about it right as we talking a guy came to me recently yeah and he told me that you mr sean edwards on his wife's birthday you give the wife two hundred dollars and a bottle of wine yeah thinking that you could charm her yeah and he said that the wife came to him and told him about your move towards her and it felt that it touches his heart to know that that's your intention to go around and because the people has elected you you understand and because of your position and the power you have you feel like you could go about and the same people that look up to you but you feel like you could take advantage of them by sleeping around with the wives you understand why are you destroying a household for your own gain, for your own lust? You understand? None of us is perfect. Yes, we all have done wrong. We all do those things. But as a rep, my brother, as a rep, the same people that look up to you, huh? the same people that looking up to you, after you're not providing no jobs for them right you're not doing nothing for them but yes still you could go around sleeping with their wives because that's the mentality you'll have keep them poor so you'll have you could have easy access to them right because the same taxpayer's money that has paid you and you have the taxpayer's money instead of helping somebody buy a sheet of plywood or two for somebody who needs huh? or use that $200 to give to somebody who's hungry because that $200 could go far but no you're going to use it to try and bribe a man's wife to try and sleep with her just for your own pleasure while destroying the man's family yeah you understand and this is hurting the man to to the core yeah the husband yeah and he just don't know how to say it so he came to me and he's he give me the authority to speak about it yes and he tell me yes I could go and talk about it and just don't mention his name but just mention the mere fact that you bought her a bottle of wine and gave her two hundred dollars for her birthday yeah so the next time you come yeah you'll come for something different you understand and you know who you give the $200 and a bottle of wine. I don't have to mention the person name. 
You know that. You understand? Yeah. So, basically, the genuine of people is watching you on the side. Yeah. Especially the men. Because they know the dirty work that you've been doing in darkness and is coming out of light. Especially from the guys from Olion and Denerivia. Yes. Whenever you come to Olion, yeah, they be watching you on the side because you have been doing the guys dirty. Yes, and the guys is watching you on the side. They do not like it. They don't want to talk about it to get victimized. They don't want to talk about it so you could crucify them. They don't want to talk about it because of the treatment you might, you might give them. But they're hurting on the inside. They're hurting on the inside. And they're talking about it silently. Silently. You understand? Yeah, it's very painful to know in that, yes, you, Sean Edwards, taking advantage of the poorer class of people. Yes, destroying families, destroying relationships because of your power and because of your position. You understand? But like the verse tell you, It says in verse 11, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee, O thou of thy own house, and I will take thy wives before thee and give them to thy neighbor. You understand? So the same thing you're doing to the guys. Yeah. Yeah. Learn from that example. What goes around comes around. You hear me? The same thing you do doing to the guys in the enough. The Lord is saying that the same thing will happen to you. What goes around comes around, man. You hear me? Never underestimate someone. Never under underestimate the power of Yahshua, you know. Because what goes around comes around. And nothing lasts forever. And don't take it for granted. <clears throat> Thinking because you're in power today. You're going to always be in power. Thinking that what you could do today. You will always be doing it. Now. Nothing lasts forever. It's only for a time my brother. You hear me? And I'm speaking from my heart. Yeah. Because this person you did that to. Yeah, the husband is hurting. Yes. And he didn't he don't want to take it upon himself to come and confront you of what he might say or what he might do. Therefore he came to me. Alright? Yes, and I'm letting you know. Yes, I'm letting you know. What you're doing is wicked. What you're doing is dirty. And what you're doing is cold-hearted. You understand? Yeah. Represent the people, man. Be there for the people. Not to use the people. Not to take advantage of the people. Yeah. But support the people, man. That's what they elected you for. And you ought to treat everybody the same. You understand? Every everybody has a mouth. You understand? And everybody has feelings. You hear me? Sean Edwards. You know? And when I talk, people always think that it's because I hate you. Or I dislike you. No, I don't. You hear me? I don't. I have I don't even have a, a thought of hatred towards you. I don't like what you're doing to the people. I don't like the way you're treating the people. That's what I don't like. But I do not hate you personally. Because if, if you were doing what you're supposed to do for the people, 
you wouldn't be hearing my voice. Ask your right hand man, Cyprian Sly. Because we always talk. You understand? I have nothing against you, my brother. But I just don't like the way, the advantage you're taking over the people. You understand? How you exploiting the people. Uh, how you disrespecting the people of the enough. Which is the same people that voted for you. And you, you abusing the people. You abusing your power over the people. You understand? And this is what I cannot stand. This is what I cannot take. And this is what I will not stand up and not say nothing about it. You understand? Yeah. So this is this this message is for you. To like the people that say, pull up your socks, my brother. Pull up your socks. And do what you're supposed to do for the people in Denmark. Because God is not a police. You see? Just like Richard Frederick pushed his foot in his mouth by saying the police is giving me all my information that I needed. Yes. I bet you he regret saying that. Because that's going to come back and haunt him. So you, learn from that man. Stop treating the people the way you're treating them. Stop taking advantage of the people. You understand? Respect the people and represent the people the way you're supposed to. My brother, you understand? Yeah. And treat the people with respect. You understand? Because majority of the people look up to you. And especially the young kids. They look up to you as a role model. You hear me? And you ought to lead like your life as a leader. As a respectable leader. That's your job, my brother. Alright? So my people, as you all know, the voice for the voiceless. And I'm coming and speak on behalf of the poor class of the people. And people that want to be heard and they cannot talk. Because of victimization. You understand? Because of being taken advantage of. You understand? By those in power. You know? So, out of love, as you know, my people, I always have you at heart. You understand? And I always represent you. Always talk on your behalf. Because I love you all, my people, of you know. Alright? Sean Edwards, that message is for you. Voice for the voiceless. I was there, my people. One love.